my 21st birthday today. Uh, people tell me that that's an important one for some reason. Do other countries care about 21st birthdays as much as we do here in the US? Because the big thing is that it's the drinking age in the, in the United States, but other countries it's 18 or lower. So maybe it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me because I don't drink anyway. So um, I'm spending my 21st birthday doing the same uh, things that I always do. And I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to start this vlog channel. I um, been wanting to do this for a while. People have been asking me to do this for a while. And I don't think I'm gonna be doing vlogs every day because my life just is not that exciting. Uh, I'm gonna be doing them every time I do something significant or go on an adventure at least once a week. I'm gonna aim for at least once a week. I don't know, we'll see how well that pans out. My plan for today was to wake up at 4.30 in the morning to go see the sunrise at uh, Hampton Beach. But uh, I just woke up. Now, I tend to sleep in. So that didn't work out, but we're gonna make this day special anyway, somehow. I'm gonna go get food first and coffee because I'm, uh, I'm somehow still sleepy. I can't stress enough how awesome it is to be a regular at any establishment. I walked in there, they gave me a balloon, a happy 21st birthday cup, and a free meal. If you have a place that you enjoy getting food at, go there every day if you can, because it's awesome to be regular anywhere. It's something I recommend. Ani's Bagel Cafe in Exeter, New Hampshire. Please go check them out if you live anywhere in the world travel here and go there alrighty so I go here very very often let me get this shit so I go here if you can't tell very very often and um, god the lighting is not on my side here there we go maybe did that help at all no okay I go here very very often and then I there's this field that I go to almost every day to eat my breakfast. So we're gonna go there now. So this is where I have breakfast every morning. Uh, it's a beautiful field right between New Fields and Exeter. And uh, I don't know, it's very, very, let me turn the AC down. There you go. Uh, it's a very peaceful place. I'll sit here, listen to podcasts, listen to music. So my plan for today is I can eat my breakfast, which is more like lunch because it's almost two o'clock. Go home, finish working on next Monday's video, take care of my animals, go to the gym. In between all that, I don't know what else is gonna happen. I'm probably gonna talk to you guys a little bit more just about me and uh, who I am outside of five weird animal facts. If you're watching this, I'm guessing you also watch my show on Animal Bites TV, and I wanna kinda give you a behind the scenes look on the making of that show and um, the future of Animal Bites TV and me as a host there. Because I want to do a lot more, but 
I am a procrastinator. That's something I hope to really change this year of my life. Uh, is that I've always been really bad with leaving things to the last minute and I want to change that about myself because I know that I can improve as a creator, as a host, as a writer. Uh, if I get that sort of part of me to uh, stop existing. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna eat my food and I'll talk to you in a second. So this is where I usually come to do work. This is my animal room. This is where all my beautiful non-human friends live. And uh, I used to always do all of my work here. I used to, you know, I film here, obviously, my green screen, my lighting and all that is here. Uh, I used to also sit on the couch and write scripts and prepare everything and edit. But I've found that to be the least effective way for me to get work done. Uh, because this is also the room where I relax and unwind and take care of my animals and meditate. And um, you can't have all of those aspects in your life restricted to one area or else they tend to overlap. So I tend, you know, when I'm trying to write a video, I get distracted and start watching YouTube videos or start watching Netflix or take care of my animals or start setting up new enclosures or do something to distract me from my work. And um, that, that put a serious strain on my work. So instead of writing and editing down here, I've moved my operation up to here. This is my office. It is much less distracting than my animal room. I uh, just got kind of a little workspace here. Books, little tank full of stick insects, and my laptop, and that's it. So the show I'm writing right now is uh, about the most territorial or defensive animals on the planet. Uh, the wolverine, the Africanized bee, the Tasmanian devil, the hippopotamus, and the honey badger. It's, it's kind of tough with a video like this because I want to remind people that animals don't attack humans for no reason at all uh it's always you know because they're defending their territory or defending their young or something like that but at the same time this is about how aggressive certain animals can be or defensive rather certain animals can be i also have to kind of tread the fine line between educational and entertaining because uh if it's too far on the side of educational the information can become kind of dry and boring but if it's too far on the side of entertainment, then it's just a funny video and there isn't as much meaning behind it. It doesn't serve the purpose that I want it to serve. So finding that balance is something I have to do with every video that I make. And it's a lot more challenging than you'd expect. And I know that people uh, tend to get a little upset with the titles and the thumbnails on some of my videos, like whenever it's, uh, you know, killer or something, or it's a gross picture of the effects of spider venom on a human hand but what they gotta kind of remember and they say it's you know over dramatizing and it's clickbait but uh, something that Brian told me a while ago that I've always remembered because uh, it, it makes perfect sense is when it comes to TV shows or movies you can have trailers or previews or advertisements that can show you a lot more of what you're expecting from the content with YouTube the only thing you have to advertise with is a thumbnail and a title. So you want that thumbnail to be attention grabbing, but not too ridiculous. And you want the title to be attention grabbing, but not lying about what the content actually is. So that's another fine line that you have to tread when making these videos. And it's definitely a challenge because I don't want to upset my old viewers at the expense of getting new viewers, but I still want to get new viewers to start watching our channel and watching our content. One more thing, people often ask me if this, all this information that I present in my videos is already information that I had in my head, or if I do research, or if it's all stolen from other whatever. The way I choose the animals for these videos is I take information that I already kind of have in my brain and expand upon it by researching it further. So for example, I already knew that wolverines, Africanized bees, Tasmanian devils, hippos, and honey badgers were very aggressive, defensive animals. Um, but I wanted to make sure I got all my facts straight. So right now, I'm on you know Wikipedia pages, uh, more legitimate articles as well. Uh, just double checking everything that I think I know, and then adding on to what I already know. That way, I don't get anything wrong. Because whenever I get things wrong in the video, you guys point it out real quick and I appreciate that to a certain extent okay so uh, I worked for about an hour and I got very little accomplished 
Then I had dinner with my parents, celebrated my birthday. Then we got home and they surprised me with a time capsule that they buried when I was one years old. Um, and uh, it was kind of cool, like looking at all the stuff that they put in there from when I was one years old, like cards from all my relatives, people that are no longer in my life, which uh, was very special. It was really incredible, really nostalgic experience, uh, kind of reminding myself where I came from because uh, I very rarely think about where I've been. Uh, I'm very focused on the future and the present, but never on the past. So that was neat. It was really, really cool seeing that, seeing all the letters, everything, uh, all my relatives left for me. But that did take about two hours. Uh, so now it's 10 p.m. and I still barely have a script written and I lost a lot of creative energy. Uh, I tried sitting down and writing more, but I got, I got nothing. Uh, I, I could write, but I couldn't write anything good. And there's a big difference between the two. Like, I could write a show, but it wouldn't be a good show. And I want to make a good show. So I'm at the gym now. Uh, I want to get some more energy back, uh, wake myself up a little bit, and then uh, go home and try again. Probably going to be a late night tonight. Not going to record tonight. I'm going to record tomorrow morning, um, which my original plan was to get the entire show done tonight and then sent in tomorrow morning. But I'm going to have to push that back a little bit, unfortunately. It's my birthday, I can have the day off. Okay. Much better. All right, that uh, woke me up a lot. Uh, I got a bunch of energy. Talking is what I'm not good at right now, but uh, <laughs> oh man. The thing is like with working out, uh, I'm very new to it. I just joined Planet Fitness like maybe a month ago. Uh, so this is my fifth or sixth time actually going into the gym itself and um, doing a workout. And the first time, the first couple times I went, I left, I walked back to uh, my car and I felt like I was going to vomit blood. Like it was terrible. I was just like exhausted. I felt sick because uh, it was the first time that my body had done that kind of stuff before. I'm a pretty skinny guy. I've never been very athletic. Uh, I'm just doing this because I want to get in better shape and um, be healthier. But now when I go, like the past few times that I've gone, I've left feeling fantastic, you know, feeling energized, feeling my body uh, work in ways that it never has before. Like I feel certain parts of my body that I've never felt. It's really hard to describe, but um, it's definitely hard but that's why not everybody does it all the time. <laughs> but it's worth it. There's teenagers in the parking lot doing teenager stuff. If you want to join a gym, but you're not about the whole, like, guys grunting when they're lifting weights and dropping the weights at the end and making loud noises and shit, and just a bunch of, like, feeling intimidated by the people there... Planet Fitness is the best because like that was my biggest thing about joining a gym was like I'd feel really self-conscious because um, I'm not the most fit muscular dude and uh, you know it's always been kind of an insecurity for me but it's a catch-22 because joining a gym is what I need to do in order to get more muscular but Planet Fitness is great because it's a bunch of people like me who are not in great shape and want to get in better shape and their whole motto was like, it's a judgment-free zone. So it's, it's really, it's a good atmosphere. It's actually really funny. The first time that I went there uh, and I was like setting up my account with the guy at the front desk, I ended up talking to the guy about the last X-Men movie for like an hour <laughs> while I was there. Uh, and that's the last thing I expected to do was talk about Marvel movies at a gym. Uh, and that, you know, really kind of eased the anxiety because I was very anxious first time I went in. But uh, it's, it's been great. I feel great. I feel better than I have in a long time. And uh, definitely something I'm going to keep doing. Hopefully I'll continue to improve. But I should never flex on camera. That was the douchiest thing I've done in my entire life. Anyway, I'm going to get back to the office. Um, finish writing. It is it's probably like midnight right now. Midnight. So I'm going to go home. Uh, write. I'm going to finish the script. I was going to say I'm going to write as much as I can. I'm just going to finish it so I can film it in the morning. Edit it, send it in before like 2 p.m. And uh, yeah. So this has been the first vlog. Let me know what you think. Um, I just kind of winged it today. There was no plan whatsoever with this video. I just turned my camera on in the morning and I'm turning it off at night. 
uh, giving you a little idea of what my day is like on an average day. Um, but I'm going to be doing different stuff in the future. Going to be doing Q&As, going to be doing, you know, room tours. Whenever I get new animals, I want to show them off. And, um, but yeah, I want to let you guys know who I am outside of Five Weird Animal Facts and outside of Animal Bites TV. Because uh, I got a lot going on and I'm going to continue to have more going on, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, let me know in the comments what you want. What do you want from these vlogs? Because I'm doing these for you more than I am for myself. Uh, so let me know what you want to see out of these videos, any questions you might have for me to answer in the next video, and anything like that. i got to think of a clever outro. Bye-bye.